Hey there, uh, Nate with Staple. Coming at you live with reason number two to use OpenSense as your firewall. And this is um, the second in a series of what we'll call leading reasons to get you to use OpenSense. And um, they come from a place of using a lot of different products over the years from uh, enterprise grade firewalls to uh, you know other open source platforms and everything in between and OpenSense, uh, in my opinion is probably one of the most capable firewalls that that you could put <laughs> in your environment uh, and it is open source it's free um, but it does have components that enhance it greatly that you can pay for that provide uh, you know certain security services and then of course you can always get support from OpenSense and uh, great company great product really 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 impressed with what they do so uh, if you haven't seen reason number one go check it out now reason number two part of being on the internet is um, being constantly faced with attacks from all sorts of places for all sorts of reasons. And when you're picking a firewall, you want to make sure you have a product that gives you various levels of protection against these attacks that are that are common. And you know most of the time it's um, programmatic probing of your environment. Uh, so you'll have these uh, software applications that run and they go out and they just scan the internet looking for holes to uh, exploit and so you'll you'll see in your firewall logs you'll see a lot of different you know attempts to access your your network via um, certain what are called ports we can talk about that in a bit but so OpenSense has this really cool feature that's free again it's free where you can you can uh, sign up for a list of countries and the ips in those countries the ip addresses you can then take that list and create rules to say let's say you want to block uh, traffic coming from china and um, this list allows you to do that. It says, okay, give me all the IP addresses, just a blanket block from all the IP addresses from China. And you can actually use that list, create a rule and block traffic from China. That way, any any sort of attempt to get to your network from that country is simply dropped. So let's, um, I'm here at the documentation homepage for OpenSense. And we're gonna go to we're going to just search for uh, geo IP settings. Okay, and we come to this max mind geo IP setup. It gives you a, a link here to their account creation. So what we're going to do is we're going to sign up for what's called a geo light two account, which is free. Now they have other accounts that you can sign up for. Um, and I'll show you that in just a second, but it's very simple. You just put your full name and email address uh, and you know, fill out the form, agree to their policy, hit continue. Now, I already have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. Okay, and now once, once you're logged in here, you'll see on your account summary, so we have the Geo2, GeoLite2 country database, which is the one we're going to use. Then we have the uh, Geo Light City and the ASN database. So these are all these are all um, databases you get when you sign up. Now over here on the left, you have a, an option to manage keys, and I'm not going to create an, another one. I'll just show you how that works. I'm going to go ahead and click Generate New. You give it a name. You, it asks you this question, old versions, will this key, old versions uh, of our geo update program use a different license key format? Will you, will this key be used for geo IP update? The answer to this is no. If we come back here to the, um, 
to the instructions, right here it says, once you've created an account, you need to create a license key. Click in the My License Key link, generate a key. When asked if you, if you use GeoIP Update, choose No. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to hit No. Once you hit Confirm, it's going to show you the key, and you want to grab it there. You want to copy it and save it um, somewhere. Once we have that key, we're going to take our license key, and we're going to come back to our instructions here. The OpenSense instructions give us the URL that we need. So this is our download link with the GeoIP Lite 2 country version, BSV. Okay. And then license key. And then this is where we're going to stick our license key. We're going to replace my underscore license underscore key with the actual key. And then end it with this ampersand and... Uh, Suffix equals zip. Okay, so we take this URL. All right, we replace our key. We replace this part with our key, and then we log into our firewall. Once we are in our firewall, we're going to come down here to firewall. We're going to go to aliases, come over to GeoIP settings, and we paste that URL in here. Okay, and then we hit apply. And that's it. Now our firewall is ready to create our alias. So the, the next step is we're going to create an alias. We're going to come here to alias. You'll hit this plus sign. We're going to give it a name. So let's say we're going to create a rule called blocked countries. Okay. That's what we're going to name it. The type is going to be GeoIP. All right. So it, it groups us, groups for us by by region, right? So if I want to block uh, the entire African region, I can simply click this and it'll it'll select all 50, re 50 countries in that region. Okay. And if I want to go in and I say, you know, I have a partner that I work with from Botswana, I can uncheck that particular country and then they're not included in this. Okay. So, where do we see a lot of hacking attempts from? Well, um, let's un undo that. We see uh, Russia, Russia, Russia. Just kidding. Since that's in the news these days, we'll play with that one. Let's say this evil Russia. We want to block from getting to us. And let's say China is another one that everybody hears um, in the news. But we're just using this as an example. So let's say you're scared because you watch too much CNN. And um, so we want to block China and Russia. All right. We can get statistics. All right. So what it's going to do is it's going to count how many times um, someone from that country. That'll be interesting. And it's always good to, if when you're creating rules, try to describe it because the this will end up in various logs and that kind of thing. It'll help you distinguish one rule from the other or where this is coming from. So we're going to do um, block China and Russia. Okay. We're going to do all. Uh, and again, you could leave this blank and it would block anything coming from, from these countries. All right. I'm going to hit save. So now we have this blocked countries alias. Now what we have to do, now that we have our alias, we have to go and we have to create a rule to, to use that alias. So we're going to come here to rules. And for simplicity's sake, I'm going to create a rule on my main Verizon uh, internet connection. And so we come up here, we, we're going to click add. And I want this rule to be at the very top because I want it to be evaluated first. Meaning if something comes from country, from Russia or China, the first thing I want the firewall to do is to see if it's from that country. And if, if it is, just block it. Don't let it go any further. Just outright block it. So what we're going to do, we're going to block for the action. We want to apply it immediately on the WAN interface. The incoming direction, we want both 
IPv4 and 6. Any protocol, so protocol is um, the type of traffic, so TCP, UDP, ICMP, and there's a whole bunch of them. Um, but, but we just want all, all traffic types to be blocked. The source, where is it coming from? This is where we're going to use our alias. So we go to blocked countries. We choose blocked countries here. And then we don't really need to, to choose anything else. We don't care where it's going. We just want to block it if it's from these countries. So we don't care about the destination. We don't care about the port ranges. We want to log the packets so that we can see it in our log to make sure that our rule is working. I'm going to hit save. Now, when you create a rule, that moves it to the bottom. So what we need to do now is, because we want it way up here at the top, we want to select the rule that we just created, and then come to the top one, and then move selected rules before this rule, like this. Okay, So that moves this rule up to the top. We hit Apply Changes. If we go to our log files, live view. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Shoot. Come back here to rules. And we're going to come to, I did not give this a description. So we're going to give it the same description as our, as our alias, the block countries, so that we know that when this is logged, and we're also going to do a category of security, when this, when this rule is logged, meaning it's been hit, having its description here tells us in the log file where it's coming from. So it's always a good idea to put that in. Apply changes, uh, log files, live view. Come in here and say blocked. Um, and then what we could also do is we could say, okay, show me the label that includes block, that contains block. Okay, so we know our label contains its block countries, but let's say I had another rule here. Um, now we can see there's a, there's a hit right there. Okay, um, but I could filter just show me just show me those. So I'm looking at action blocked and label equals or contains blocked. So now we can see, okay, people trying to get into, oh, there we go. So, so this is, um, this is a, a service that I have open. They know I have a port open. So this particular IP is probing um, to see if they can gain access. So we're just gonna go ahead and block them. The rule is gonna do it for me. And it seems like these two, this four or five network has a lot of folks on there that are trying to get into various ports and stuff. So now I can take this IP and then I can come over to a tool like MX, MX Toolbox. I'm going to um, come into Super Tool. I'm going to paste that IP. I'm going to change this to Let's find out where this country is. So we're going to choose this lookup called Aaron lookup. Go ahead and click show me the money. And you can see that this is a dot. This is coming from a, a network in Russia, Russia. So we know that this is working. Okay. So Russian Federation, Moscow, Dmitrovskov, Shoshe, Shoshe, 98, are you country? Are you? So yeah, that's it. That's how you block an entire country. Just, just, hey, sorry, you're not allowed. Very cool. Very, very cool. Very, you know, for a free firewall, free software, free service from MaxMind, great, great, cool company. And again, they have, they have other lists. If you need to get more granular or something, they have other lists that um, you can kind of drill down into into more specific areas. And maybe we'll go into that uh, in another video, but MaxMind plus OpenSense equals secure network. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for reason numero tres. Take care.